Hi, Chris again. And on this video, I wanna talk about an alternative for uh, storage for your games that a lot of people probably are not considering. You've just, everybody has told you don't do it. It's terrible, blah, blah, blah. They're, they're wrong 90% of the time. So high capacity hard drive. So this particular drive is a 14 terabyte Western Digital Red uh, in an Orico branded external enclosure. I bought the drive and the enclosure separate. I think I got this, I think my actual cost on this drive, I think I, I got this on a deal, it was like 50 bucks or something, but um, it's a Western Digital Red. And so these high capacity modern drives, these are not your grandpa's hard drive, okay? These are very high performance. Even external like this, I was able to game off of it. The transfer rates on these drives are about as fast as SATA 6 um, drive to drive transfer uh, for non um, for non SSD drives. I think I've seen SSDs go up to like 500 megabytes a second, 400 megabytes a second. These are more in line with a standard spinning disk, which is usually two to 250 megabytes a second in an external configuration. Um, and I just load my Steam library on this. Now, before people tell me I'm wrong, I am going to admit, there are some cases where you need, you don't need an SSD, but the effect that if you see an effect, if you see any negative side effect to this, the most likely negative side effect that you will see is longer game load times. Some more, some less. You may have to wait a minute or two for a game to load instead of it loading in 15 seconds or something like that. You may also see uh, like shader compilations and stuff take longer. Um, but once the game is running, it's very rare to actually encounter any issues. Now, like your, your really fast paced stuff, your Fortnite, your Apex, stuff like that, you've got a small SSD. Let's say you've got one terabyte SSD. I would load those on there. But your Assassin's Creed's, your Cyberpunk's, that kind of stuff, generally, generally will run fine off of a high performance, modern, high capacity drive if you see any in-game effects, the most likely effect to see is a small stutter. It's usually rarely enough that it doesn't really affect it. A few games I've seen, it was enough where I, I said, okay, I gotta load this on SSD. But that's, that's very rare. Most games that I load on a drive like this and even run them off external USB, um, run just fine. So just a thought, just give it some consideration. I mean, it's always nice to be able to load your entire Steam library on one drive. But anyway, I hope you guys find this informative and thanks for watching.